Okay, <clears throat> let's take a walk around this uh, 1992 on a J. Land Rover Defender 90, ex-military. Um, I think it was an ex-military radio car because it's got the uh, aerial fittings on the rear wings. Um, came out of the military in 1999 and it's been uh, a bit civilianised since then. Finished in the, uh, the usual NATO IRR drab. Originally it would have been uh, uh, black and green camouflage and the, uh, the black is still showing through, uh, is now showing through in a few places. Uh, usual army paint job. Um, not, uh, not done with uh, a view to um, uh, aesthetics, shall we say. Um, but it's rather nice, actually. Fitted with a 200 TDI engine. Uh, had a proper reconditioned 200 TDI engine fitted in 2009. And it's got quite a good, quite a good spec on it, excuse me. Um, it's got a matching set of five um, mud, mud spec tyres on. On modular rims. Yep, on black modular rims. Uh, it's got checker plate on the modesty covers and the wing tops. It's got front A-bar, um, steering guard and front diff guard. It's not been lifted by the look of it, standard height. Uh, and what else it got externally? NATO rear bumperettes. It's got a tow bar and it's also got civilian um, electric plug as well. Slightly different in the front. It's been fitted with um, civilian Land Rover front seats and centre cubby box. It's got... Uh, um, dash console and a nice radio CD with iPod connector. It's also got soundproofing in it in the usual areas on these, on the headlining and the doors and stuff to stop them from drumming quite so badly. Um, also got lowered bulkhead behind the uh, driver's seats and the passenger seat to give a bit more room. And in the back we've got twin bench, twin rear bench seats. All uh, as they should be and say so noise deadening stuff in the back here as well. Right, let's walk around it and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Not many bad bits, so apart from you know the paint is standard army stuff really. But aside from that, um, what have we got around the front end? It's just I'm not going to go through every sort of little paint blemish on it because there's hundreds being an ex-military one. It's been about you know it's had about three coats of paint on it over the years. Um, quite a lot of paint loss of the top coat on the bonnet up there where the spare wheel would normally go, although it's on the tailgate now. Um, slightly crinkled just here on the light panel but near side front wing apart from a sort of slight dip, couple of slight depressions up there on the on the barrel side actually uh, um, is pretty straight it's certainly straight around here um, scuttle corner and top a little bit of bubbling just coming up just there on the uh, very edge of the scuttle corner but not broken through at all um, the rest of it all looks very very good indeed a post looks fine it's obviously got military doors on it with the sliding windows which i prefer myself um, both footwells have been uh, have been plated drivers and front passengers uh, passenger door the frame is rotten just there it's not so bad on these military ones but because um, uh, you don't have got the weight of all the, the window and everything but uh, um, near side uh, say door frame is rusty at the front and at the back there no movement in the hinges there Near side rear wing, all as it should be. There's a couple of depressions in the barrel side there on the... Uh, a lot of these marks are actually just water. Um, that's what the NATO IRR drab does, but there's a big loss of paint just underneath the aerial mount just there. Um, the roof is a bit, um, a bit dented, especially up here. Seen a bit of life, this one. Um, in the back, as I say, we've got these twin rear benches. Um, tailgate is a bit rusty just there in the corner but otherwise the frame is actually pretty good just a bit gone there as well again still holds a spare wheel up uh, paint loss on the offside rear quarter um, looking down the offside looks pretty straight down there offside rear wing all good a few diesel stains here and um, so a large area of where the black's showing through just there and on the um, on the tub top trims. Uh, driver's door, all good. Driver's scuttle corner looks great, no problems there at all. Tiny, tiny bubble just coming up just down the bottom there, just where the wing touches it. Um, and a little bit of bubbling just and cracking just coming up there on the A post, but otherwise all good. Uh, offside front wing, slightly dented here and down here, not too bad. Um, not bad at all really, but a little bit dented. 
and in the driver's side again frame is in the front corner isn't brilliant but uh, still does the job um, the seat covers are on because the seats have got tears in them and so they are civilian seats rather than the original military ones a bit more comfortable and the footwell has been um, been redone uh, but that's about it really she's rather good that's about it. I think my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it and 